Today we're going to be covering how to create an upsell in Kartra. Upsells are a really great way of increasing the average order value, but they can also improve the customer experience. So let's have a look at what we're going to be covering. Here's an overview of the customer journey. So first of all, the customer will come to the sales page. If they purchase the, the main product, they go to the checkout, and then rather than going straight to the thank you page, they're given an opportunity to purchase at an upsell here. Now on that upsell, there's an option to buy it, and I'm gonna show you a way of uh, making it really easy for a customer to buy with a one-click upsell. And, but if they don't want to purchase, there's also an option for them to say no. And in either of those cases, they're then taken to the thank you page. The first thing we need to do to set up our upsell product is come across to my products and then down in the bottom right hand corner, uh, click on the green plus product button. And then we've got uh, the option to put a name for our product in there. And then we've got a choice between creating it as a main product or an upsell downsell product. And we want to choose the upsell downsell option. And then we can choose to put it in a funnel. And in this case, we're going to choose to put it into a course example funnel. Now, I've already created an upsell product just to make this tutorial a little bit quicker. So we'll edit that existing product. But if you want all the details of how to create a new product, I do have a video on this channel, which I'll link to in the description. There are three important points that I'll draw your attention to as we're going through all of the product details. So I'm going to skip ahead over the, the basic information and also the pricing information, which you can put in if you want to see details on that, refer to my other video. So the first important part is this, which is the thank you page. What you need to set up here is the actual page after someone purchases the upsell. Now, this is actually set up as a thank you page, but if you're going to be having multiple upsells, rather than sending them to a thank you page, you'll be sending them to upsell number two. So although it's called the thank you page, you can think of it as the next page in the sales process. I'm just gonna have the one upsell, so I'm putting the actual thank you page here. Then when you're done, just click the green save button and save and next. The next important part is on this checkout page. Now, if we scroll down to where it says Express Checkout, click on Change, then you've got three options here for the type of checkout you want. Uh, the full checkout experience, uh, the one-click confirmation, or straight through. Now, what we're going to do today is set up a one-click upsell, so it's really nice and easy for your customers to buy. If you want to do that, you have to click this third option, which is the straight through payments option. Then once you've done that, click save, and then down to save and next. And then we're on to the third important point, which is customer lists and tagging. So I've already got my customer list set up as buyers. Now the important part is to put some tagging on for your customers who actually purchase this product. Now I've already set it up with an existing tag, so they're called upsell product buyers. Now the importance of tagging your customers here, because in the future, you might want to do a promotion, you might even want to sell what is now an upsell, you might want to sell that as a standalone product in the future. Um, but you don't want to be sending promotional messages to people who have already bought the product. So what you could do then is just send your emails or other promotions just to people who don't have this particular tag. 
when you finish this page, um, just click the green save button and then save and next. And then we'll go through to the end of this product setup. And now we've got our upsell product all set up and we're ready to go. The next step is creating the upsell page to sell your upsell from. So come to my pages and click on the green plus page button. And then there are a number of templates in here for upsell pages. And then we can just choose a template that we like from here. Or of course you could create one from, from scratch. I particularly like this design. So I'm going to select that and launch builder. And then I'll show you the important settings that you need to make. So here I am on the upsell page. I haven't made any edits yet. Um, but what I want to point out to you is these, the buy button, and um, there's a no thanks link on this particular page. Now what you need to edit is come across to the pencil icon. And then here, when we choose link, we go down to um, the option of pop a product checkout. And then from there we can choose our funnel and then choose the actual upsell product that you want in there. Choose the price point. Now here is the very important part. Now you've got two options of choosing the default cartridge checkout or an overlay pop-up. If you want a one-click upsell you have to choose uh, the top one, the default cartridge checkout. If you choose an overlay pop-up, um, you will get a pop-up um, after someone clicks on this. So it won't be a true one-click upsell. After you've done that, just click apply. And then we also need to edit this link here. So just edit here. If someone says no, they don't want it, we want to take them straight to the thank you page. So we choose the link type as being a URL, and then you would just put the URL in there of the thank you page. If you have a downsell in your sales funnel, you can put your URL of your downsell page here instead of the thank you page. Now the final thing we've got to do is an edit to the main product. So we just need to go to my products, choose the main product, and then come across to pages. And it's on this section, the thank you page. Now at the moment, it's set up to go directly to the thank you page. But what we've done, of course, is put a an upsell between buying the product and the thank you page. So we want customers to actually go to the upsell product. So now their journey is going to from the sales page to the upsell. And then after that, they'll be going to the thank you page. Once we've done that, we can just click on save and then click on save and next. And that's how easy it is to create an upsell in Kartra. If you've got any questions, then leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to give Kartra a try, uh, then I'll leave a link in the description.